Outraged parents forced the Lancaster County School District to reverse course on a change to the board meeting agenda. Our South Carolina Bureau Chief, Sakura Speaks, explains how the change came after one person's fiery speech to members and what she's still fighting to change. Tanya Ross is known in the community for speaking up about the issues in the Lancaster County School District. She's frustrated with the board's recent reaction to several families' gun safety concerns. They were just brushing it off like they didn't care. You know, thank you for coming, you know, or whatever, and get a thank you letter, and that was it. Taking matters into her own hands, Ross asked board members to imagine themselves getting a phone call about a shooting at their children's schools. They took that as it was a threat, and I felt like, to me, it was a slap in the face for you to think that I was threatening any of you or your loved ones, but you don't understand how these families feel that get threats for real. That discussion prompted the district to change how it runs meetings. I fully understand that in the past, many of our constituents, community members, have not shown model behavior. I encourage all of our speakers tonight to show behavior that we are asking of our students. New rules require parents to be there by 6.30 to walk through a metal detector with a clear bag policy if necessary. But parents were outraged when the board moved public comments to the end of the meeting. So that's like you're trying to silence the very people that put you in office because you want them to sit through it because they got out of there after 12 last night. So they wanted people to sit in there at the 12.30 last night or so before they spoke, and by then, they're gonna really brush you off because they're ready to go. After messages from parents, members voted to move the public comments back to the top of the meeting. Queen City News requested comment from the district and did not receive a response back. Ross's organization, We the People Committee, is working to bridge the gap of communication between parents, students, teachers, and the district. There's so many things that needs to be fixed. Reporting in Lancaster County, Shakir Speaks, Queen City News.